Hey, thanks for watching. Here is a video documenting the jacuzzi installation process. In a previous video, we carefully removed the ceiling and roof panels with the intention of reinstalling them later. Next step is removing the roof beams. In this bus, some of them are bolted in place, so they were removed first. The only cutting required is just this single roof beam. Once the hot tub is installed, we will weld this back into place and reassemble the roof and ceiling panels. Now to prepare the jacuzzi. It needs to be cleaned, but more importantly for today, it needs to be filled so we can check for leaks. This thing weighs at least several hundred pounds, and I'm working mostly by myself without a machine other than a Jeep, so it's a bit of a struggle. Disaster is waiting around every corner. I live in a pretty awesome place where people stop by and chat with me when they see me outside working on a pretty regular basis, but I'm sure if any of my friends drove by yesterday, they just pretended they couldn't see me struggling and kept on driving. At least, that's what I would do if I were them. Not really sure what the best cleaner is, we used a little Ajax cleanser and some elbow grease, which of course made for some pretty dirty water. It's pretty gross to look at, but this is just a preliminary cleaning. When finished, I think I can polish it to look like new. Meanwhile, the measuring tape says the jacuzzi is the same width as the inside of the bus, which is going to make for a pretty tight squeeze. Now, the tighter it fits, the more magical it will appear when finished, but of course if it's too tight then the frustration level is too high. And then the saw made short work of cutting through the plastic. Nobody will be able to see the sides once installed. Then we emptied the hot tub and flipped it back onto its side and went to bed. Next morning, my buddy Dave helped load the jacuzzi back onto the trailer and we prepared for our date with destiny. The rest of the installation was pretty straightforward. I suckered Dave into using his fantastic machine to lift the jacuzzi and set it inside. Sounds like it'll be quick and easy.
except it didn't fit. The tape measure says it will fit, but it must have been just a little crooked or something. And try as we may, we could not make it go. So we put it back on the ground, got out the saw and the straight edge and the marker, and took another inch. So let's see how it goes this time. So it's not in the bus straight and square, and I'm not even sure exactly exactly where it's going to live down to the square inch. But it's inside the bus, and honestly with a floor jack, it's pretty easy to move back and forth. And we'll continue to plug away till we get the jacuzzi situated, and then we'll get working on all the plumbing and the electrical and the other projects. So hey, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.